thank you for stopping by. I am Elaine. I am a, what would be considered a part-time reseller on maps like Poshmark, Mercari, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, I'm considered part-time because I don't make a living doing this. I have a regular full-time job, but in all honesty, I think I pretty much put in full-time hours, but I enjoy what I do and that's why I do it so much. This is a Wetzel video from September 23rd through the 30th. And also a quick wrap up. This, uh, August was my best month ever, uh, basically of the year because I only started keeping track in January. I just kind of dabbled before that. Um, and I have beaten that month in almost all of my numbers. Um, it's, uh, I made the most after fees and cost of goods. Um, I beat last month by a little over $200. I uh, beat my, last month was my best number of sales. I beat that by 22 sales this month. I made 95 sales in September. Um, and this is the first month ever that I made sales every single day. I did not have a single day where there was not a sale. Um, I'm not gonna keep track of that anymore because it was stressful. Um, a couple of days I didn't make a sale until like 10 p.m. But I did it. I wanted to do it. Um, my average sales per day right now for this month was 3.17. <clears throat> a little lower than where I want it to be, but it's it's increasing and that's, and that's what I want to see. Uh, the only thing that was a little bit lower than last month was my average um, sales price. That's because I just had a couple of more uh, expensive items go last time. But my average sales price is never going to be anything uh, too impressive because I don't, I don't, I can't be one of those people who, where's the, sorry, um, who like only buys items that will sell for at least $50. I just don't find enough of that stuff. <clears throat> I like to pick stuff up because it's fun and different. And, you know, I list five items a day and I can't go sourcing every day because I have a regular job. I basically can go sourcing once a week. Every once in a while, I can throw in a little extra. Um, so I have to pick up things that, that I may not make, you know, even $20 on. But that's okay, too. As long as at the end of the day, I'm happy with my results. Um, so let's just go over the sales. I'm going to probably whip through this so this video doesn't last too long. On September 23rd, I sold this Torrid Anorak jacket. Um, it was a lovely jacket. It was missing the drawstring at the bottom and then the one of the pockets were torn, so I fixed that. Um, but it got a lot of attention. It was really pretty. And I uh, sold that with an offer to Liker for $26 with reduced shipping. I get $19.30. Uh, then on the 24th, I sold this Chouse sweater vest. Uh, this was something that somebody gave me. It's vintage. But it's been around a long time. This went through the closet clear out method for $16. I get $12.80. I sold this Nick and Nora robe also through the closet clear out meth method for $17. I get $13.60. I had hoped to get more on that one, but once I brought it home, I found a couple of spots that I couldn't get out. And it had the belt, but someone had cut off the belt loops. Uh, why would you do that? Maybe if you had like, maybe if your waist was in an odd spot. Even then, why wouldn't you just not use the belt loops? Why would you cut them off? I don't know, and the robe wasn't talking. All right, uh, and then I sold this. Oh, Juicy Couture, sorry. Juicy Couture cheetah print, um, like velour zip up. I had three of those. I was at a yard sale that had many more, and I took what I thought was the most interesting one. This was an offer to Liker, or offer from Liker on Mercari, it sold for $27 and I got $23.22. I got a Gap Windbreaker. I sold this Gap Windbreaker. Um, I don't buy Gap a lot, but I love this Windbreaker. And if I was buying things only for myself, I would have bought this for myself. Um, it was $22. I got $17.60. I sold these Maurice's denim trousers. So they're denim like jeans, but they're a trouser cut. Um, and I sold these for 16. I got 12.80. Had to pause for a second. I'm actually working my real job right now. 
Anyway, all right, I know I just did the Maurice's trousers. Uh, so now we're on September 25th. I sold this, okay, this was, oh, Saturday. So I picked this up at a yard sale that morning. I listed it that evening. I do my listings during the party. So listed it like between 7 and 7.30 and it sold. Um, uh, I listed it at 40 and I, I got a like. I sent an offer to Liker for 32 and I got 25.60. So it's this Lauren Hansen vintage Halloween sweater. Um, pretty cool. It was a very large size, so even if I wanted to keep it, I couldn't. I don't have any reason to wear it. Anyway, okay, so this was an interesting one. This is a Mountain Warehouse wetsuit. I have had it listed for well over a year for $35. It always gets likes. I send offered to likers of a 30 with a minimum shipping discount. On Closet Clear Out Day, I send a message that I will change it to 28 um, and they'll get $4.99 shipping. It didn't sell. So I was like, maybe I'm just off on my price point. I decided on this particular closet clear out to try offering it at $25. So I send it to somebody. I send the message to somebody and I said, you know, that liked it. I said, it's closet clear out. I will reduce the price to $25. You'll get $4.99 shipping. She said, yes, I would like that. I reduced the price and it sold instantaneously, instantaneously to somebody else. I felt kind of bad about it, but she was just like, oh, I guess I, I missed it. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, like, literally instantaneously. It was amazing. Uh, so anyway, I get a 20 for that. I also sold this Torrid sweater through Offer to Liker for 35 Oh, this was supposed to be Closet Clear Out Method. I was going to do 35 I was going to do, um, it was, what did I have it at? I don't remember. 40 45. I was going to do 35 and Poshmark would pay the shipping, but I screwed up instead of instead of changing the price to 35, I sent an offer out at 35 for reduced shipping, so she accepted that. So, I was on the hook for the shipping part. What can you do? I get 2650. I had so many likes on this sweater. I mean, it's such a cool sweater, but it just wasn't selling fast enough. But that's torrid. Uh, now we're on September 27th. Uh, this is the second time I've sold a single Under Armour shoe. I had bought two of them. I thought they were a pair. Uh, but then I got them home and I discovered they were a different size and they were both for the right foot. Um, the first one sold. And I think that one sold for 10 This one I got an offer from Liker for 8 I was going to take any offer. Any offer. Someone needs a single shoe, I have a single shoe. Like you need to find someone who needs a single shoe, who needs it for the right foot, who needs the size eight and a half. Uh, so that's all, so I got five dollars and five cents on that. I will not go out of my way to buy single shoes, um, but I'm glad I sold those. And I don't know if I found like this amazing like Doc Martin or something. Maybe I would. I don't know. Uh, then I sold this hat. It's a the Rodeo Rodeo Drive collection from Stetson. It was an offer to like her of 20. I got 16. I really hoped that this was worth more, but when I checked the comps and I got home, I was going to buy it regardless because I thought it was so cool. And I might have wanted to keep it, but I, I couldn't even get it on my head. I have a big head. Um, anyway, so I got 16 for that. It was unusual. It sort of has a cowboy hat-esque uh, look to it. It had wire, though, in the edges so you could reshape it. And I did a little steaming of it because it was sort of beat up. Got it at the bins. Then I sold this bundle for $40. So I get $32. It's a pair of Athleta Gramercy, like track pants. I've had those listed for quite a while. Um, and then this uh, Banana Republic sort of boxy eggplant colored um, pullover like sweater. Um, she wasn't sure if the length of the legs was going to work, but she wanted to try it. And I gave her a pretty good deal on that. On the 28th, I sold these Doc Martens. These were an offer to like her through, she put them in her bundle, so I, was, so I made the offer with no shipping discount of at 45, which she accepted. So I get, what do I get on that? 36. Uh, I did not pay for these. These were part of the mystery box that I won. That's right, I won a mystery box. And if you wanna see that video, uh, check out some of my earlier videos. It was a pretty good video. It was a pretty good, not video. It's a pretty good box and for free. That's the second item that I have sold from that box. I haven't listed all the items. Okay, we are now on, where are we? 
I think we're still on the 25th. I may be losing track of the days here. Is that that important? I sold on Mercari this Hatley Dinosaur Raincoat. It was an offer for like a 15. I got 1276. I don't buy a lot of kids things, but sometimes I like especially at the regular thrift store I don't because I just don't go to that section. That's one way to not get suckered into buying kids clothes. It's a different story if you're like at the bins where it's all mixed up. So, some of them are cute enough and as long as I'm going to make a little money, I'm okay with that. So, there you go. That just brings down my average uh, sale price, but I don't care. Uh, then I sold this Banana Republic Heritage flannel shirt on Poshmark for 15 and I got 12 I sold this Steve Madden Anorak, sold, I would say, but around, it was listed for maybe 48 hours. Nice little jacket. Um, it was an offer to like her for 30 I got $22.50. This is a Lecoq Sportif um, sweatshirt. This is vintage. I was going to list it. I noticed some spots. I couldn't get the spots out. I put it in my closet. Then I took it out of my closet. Like, I'm never going to wear this. And it is vintage. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to list it. I'm going to, you know, show the spots. They're really not noticeable when you wear it. Mostly just under the ring light. Can't hide it from anything on the under that ring light. Um, so that was an offer to like her for 22 and I got 1760. Uh, then I got, sold this Lululemon men's tank. I had, I had it listed at 30. I got an offer for 20. Um, I wasn't ready to go that low. I countered at 23, which was even a dollar lower than I wanted to go. I generally like to go no more than 20% lower, except for maybe the higher priced items or things that have been sitting around. Anyway, uh, he declined my 23 and I'm like, Hmm, I don't know. Do I do the right thing? Whatever. I don't lose sleep over those things. And the next day it sold full price. So, ha ha. I got 24 on that. Okay, I had to stop again. I had a phone call. Apparently the guy didn't understand about the auto-rotate unlocking business. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, we are, let's see, I just did the Lululemon. So then I sold on Mercari for full price. This Liz Claiborne Peacoat in a size 16, it sold for 30 and I got 25.83. I just picked this up at a yard sale a couple of weeks ago and had only had it listed for a few days. Just a nice classic style. We are now on the 29th and I sold this gown. It is a strappy gown. I sold it for 35 and I got 28. I had it listed at 50. This is a consignment piece. Um, I had taken some stuff on consignment a long time ago, so I've had it for quite a while. And uh, I don't think it had a brand name or anything, but it was a really pretty gown with crinolines. And anyway, I was happy to, happy to sell it for that price. I'll get 14 on that. I kind of was doing, do some of this as a favor. Like, I'm not necessarily going out of my way looking for consignment on everything. But anyway, I don't mind doing consignment. Then I sold this Calvin Klein sweater for 20 and I get 16. Uh, I don't always pick up Calvin Klein, but I thought this was a really pretty sweater. Another one that I would have been happy to have for myself. Would look super cute with like black leggings and boots. Two things I rarely wear. In fact, I don't even think I have any boots that would go with it anymore. I got rid of most of my boots. Um, on the 30th, I made my first sale on the Real Real. It is this Martine Rose hoodie, um, another consignment piece. This took them forever to authenticate. I mean, initially I was just gonna try and sell it. I never heard of Martine Rose and it's a hoodie and it had writing on the back that was backwards and you could only actually read it properly by putting it up against a mirror. Um, but then I looked up Martine Rose hoodies and they, they were some at retail were like $400. So I ended up sending it there. I didn't even realize they had listed it because I kept checking and checking and checking and they hadn't authenticated it. Anyway, it's over $48 and it looks like I get 19. I'm not sure how that works out, but it said something about a 20% discount. So I don't know if the 48 was with the 20% discount that the buyer had, or I don't know. I don't know how the real real works. I've only sent four items. This is my first sale. Anyways, 19, so I get 950 because it is a consignment piece. 
And then I sold this torrid, like peasant blouse. And this was an offer to like her for 22. I got 16.10. Oh, this was, this was a good sale. Um, this was on Shop Thrilling. So I've made sales this month on almost every platform that I'm on. I haven't made a sale on Tradesy yet. I still have some stuff on Grail, but I haven't been in there in like six months. So I don't even count that. I need to just shut it down, but I don't even know how. Uh, anyway, this is a Dallas Cowboys like puffer jacket, like a good winter jacket. And I didn't realize until I got home and started researching that it was vintage. So I put it on Shop Thrilling in addition to my other sites and I listed it at 150 and it sold for 150 and they only take 10%. So I get 135. So if you sell vintage, think about doing Shop Thrilling. This was my fourth sale with them. And the thing is, is as long as you're already listing it on something else, it's a simple, I don't think the, I don't know that the cross listing programs have Shop Thrilling. I don't have a cross listing program. I do copy and paste and, and do the listings at the same time. So it, does not take me much longer. Uh, and then this this day I sold on everything, it looks like. Uh, then on Mercari, I sold this David's Bridal, which I accidentally listed as a as shipping on UPS. So now I have to go to UPS. Fortunately, there's a UPS store not that far out of my way from when I go to the gym. But you'd think I would have fixed that because I sold it once and I was like, oh darn, it says UPS. And then that person canceled, so I relisted it. But apparently, I didn't change that because sometimes I'm an idiot. Okay, so it sold for 30, full price. I get 25.83. It was new with tag, but it actually had some spots in the skirt. And I posted that. I said, I don't know, it's probably just from hanging around in the store. It's likely gonna come out, but I it is machine it is hand washable I think or machine washable. Um, but I didn't want to do it because it was new with tag. So I put all that information, and then the final sale, which was at eleven o'clock last night, when I'm asleep. But sometimes I wake up and look at my phone. Can't help myself. That's what I mean about putting in full time hours. Like I just do. I just want to. Uh, anyway, this was another child's item, and this sold on Kittison, and it's just an adorable Jimbery dress. It's a sweater vest, and it's it's very holiday uh, or winter. It has those snowflakes and everything. Comps were not particularly good, but I bought it, and it sold for eighteen plus shipping. I get fifteen thirty four. So that is the end of my very best month so far. Looking forward to see what happens in October. Um, I always hope to improve, but I do know that there'll be ups and downs. I will say that it is October 1st, and I've already made three really decent sales through the closet clear-out method. I should be making another one because someone agreed to it, but oh no, that one already went through. So yeah, I've already sold three things. So if you don't use the closet clear-out method or closet clear-out, I recommend it, and I'm happy to share more information on that if you don't know it. It's not my idea. You could probably find other people talking about it. But if you're here listening to this now, I make the offer. All right. Thank you. I hope everybody else's September was um, good or great. And I hope we all have a fabulous October. And I will see you on the next haul video, uh, which should be coming up in a few days. Thank you and goodbye.